So for today's video, I decided I'm gonna make a bottle opener that's uh, a little more interesting than a normal one. So I've seen designs for ones like this, saw a video somewhere where they uh, made one. Honestly can't remember where that was, so unfortunately I can't share the link with you. But yeah, I decided I'm gonna give it a shot making myself. To get started, the wood I was using was a little bit warped. So lay it out, cut it in half, and I decided I'm gonna glue the halves together. Made sure I got glue all through it, trying to get the best seal possible, and then clamps, clamps, and more clamps. So to cut them without any tear out, I made this block where I can put them through the drop saw without actually having them sitting over the gap so they were nicely supported and the wood didn't tear out when I was doing it. 33 later and I had all the bits I need. Quickly sanded the edges which left me some very nice ends for the dowels. Once I'd uh, sorted all the dowels, took the clamps off and trim the edges down the size. I decided to switch over to the circular saw because it gave me nicer edges. You can see with this that all my designs are kind of based off just the size of things I had. I didn't plan it beforehand. I only decided to actually do the measurements based off parts I already had, which at times came back to bite me a bit. Luckily I had enough wood, but it means that I didn't always cut it down right. And when I was trying to use the circular saw to do an accurate cut, it wasn't always as accurate as I hoped. A few of the parts also had some grabs, so I had to make sure I filled them, clamped them back together, which left them good as new. To sort out where the holes would be, I did a little bit of calculations and worked out that a 6x6 or 5 grid would work best. So I ruled up lines four centimeters apart this way, and then two centimeters apart this way. And then on those, I drew all the intersections I wanted. You can see that with the first line, I didn't quite do it right, but from then on, I could offset the pins nicely. And to drill the holes, I used a wooden block with a hole through it that matched the drill bit. This helped me make sure the holes were straight up and down. Bit of gluing and clamping to get the edges on, and then I was left with an almost finished frame. To put the pegs in, I put them most of the way through, put a bit of glue around it, then rolled them in. This gave them an alright seal, because I wanted to make sure that the glue wasn't coming through the other side. Once it had mostly dried, I used a multi-tool to try and cut them flush off at the back. I did the best I could. Perspex on the front, I marked some holes, drilled them, and they're ready to go. Some, hole, some holes underneath to make sure that the screws bit into the wood nicely. Take the pressure cover off the Perspex, and there we go, it fits nicely over all of the, the um, dowels. To finish it off, I had considered doing a burnt texture, but I thought, considering it's going to have some beer spilt over it and stuff, a nice oil finish would be better. Last was just to put the hardware back on, so put the bottle opener at the top, the perspex back on in front of it, and it's pretty much all good to go. See how this goes. Yeah. There you go. So I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. Would have liked to make a few changes, like for instance, I made this entirely with hand tools. And this is probably gonna be the, one of the last videos I film here before I move into my new house in just a few days time. And when I do, I'm gonna have a much better workshop set up. I've got a few like much more appropriate tools to make stuff like this, the table saw, cutoff saw and a few different other things. But yeah, this was just sort of thrown together with the tools that I, the hand tools I had lying around. Uh, it was also kind of all done on the fly, so I didn't actually measure or draw up any designs beforehand. The only thing I had to do was like had to work out an actual way of spacing the holes at the back. One of the problems I had was when I cut these side bits, I was supposed to take away the thickness of this, but I forgot to. 
because I was only doing it as I was cutting it. The Perspex sheet on the front sits in front of it, but then these pockets down here are actually inset into the frame. So it does have a little bit of a gap where it can be falling behind the Perspex and pop out. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I'm looking forward to next week finally moving into my house and I'll be able to have a much better setup and you'll see much more videos coming soon. Thanks.